Hey, I'm JD. Welcome to my channel. Today, what we're going to look at is the Spark Link by Positive Grid. So here is this little beast. There's not a lot of videos out on this thing, but uh, as you can see in the background, I've got a few specs on this uh, product. Um, it's a uh, frequency response is 20 hertz, um, and the sample rate of this is. 48 kilohertz and it's a 24-bit sampling which is pretty good the dynamic range is 96 decibels um, it has a control a button on the top here and you just kind of hold that button down and it turns on like that and it's waiting to connect with its partner once it's connected with its partner it turns green this is effectively telling me that the battery power is 100%. When you're charging it, it kind of dims uh, out and in, in a green pulse. So you know you're not uh, at 100% charge. And to turn it off, you just go like this, and it turns off. So that's enough about that. Um, and as you can see, if you flip this thing around, on the rear, it has a USB-C charging port, which is very handy. So. That's a, a modern charging port, not like some of the other ones you get that don't have this kind of charge port. Um, as well, as you can see, this the um, quarter-inch jack here, it rotates, and you can rotate that to about this position here maximum. No more than this to plug into your guitar to get it out of the way, or you can leave it straight up like this. So it, it has that's pretty handy, I guess, to get this out of the way um, and of course they styled the thing so it looks good so the main part of this thing is that it's got less than three milliseconds of latency that way when you are playing you don't notice um, any latency between you plucking the string and the amplifier making the sound so there isn't that uh, pluck the string go away have a cup of coffee and then you hear the sound later on so what I find uh, they could have done on this product is, if you see up here, it says TX, and that's a transmitter, and then the other one says RX, so it's TX, and the other one says RX. Let's grab that other one for a second. And the other one here says RX, which is receiver, and the other one is transmitter. They could have made it a bit more obvious which one is the receiver and which one is the transmitter. Um, so that's my only real complaint about it. Now, this is a pretty hefty product. It fits in my hand like that, so it's not that hefty. But I've, I have another product that's uh, uh, from Joyo, I think, and it's a little bigger than this. Um, but the good thing about this is the battery for this product lasts six hours. So you've got six hours of playing um, uh, without a cord, I'll say. So you plug this into your amp, and you plug the receiver part into your amp and you plug the transmitter part um, into the uh, guitar and there you go and there's the two products there let's see if i can link them up so you turn one on like this and let's see if that's on there we go it's looking for its buddy uh, and i turn the other one on here let's hold that thing down again like this i'll just try to get my hand out of the way and we have contact and there we go and they're connected right now so so that's this is the, the spark link um, it runs about a hundred bucks with tax Canadian and if you're in Canada it's a hundred bucks if it's in Euro if, in, if you're in the US it's probably three dollars and 27 cents just kidding so that's the spark link so why thanks for watching this video normally I do watch repair videos but I've gotten a few spark videos in here because i am a guitar player and i wanted a product that was quality and last and the audio was excellent and the time i could use this at six hours is excellent i think it has a full charge time though of three hours like a full charge time so you plug this in overnight and in the morning they're all charged up and you're going to use them for your gig not an issue at all so, so thanks a lot uh, for watching this video so just a quick review of this product. Uh, so go ahead and buy one and check it out. Oh, and I forgot one more thing. You can get a 20 
meter, 20 meter range on this. So if you're playing on stage and you want to go visit the audience, you can visit the audience. Let me turn this off. And without a problem. 20 meters is quite a distance. Go ahead and get up and do 20 paces. That's how far, fundamentally, you can be away from your amplifier um, and still hear the sound. So it's a 20 meter cord, effectively, but it's a virtual cord. So this is pretty good. 20 meters, 21 meters, it says in the spec, 20 meters reasonably. You don't want to step outside that range. Um, and that's equal to around 70 feet. That's a whole lot of feet. So I'm looking at the spec here. Uh, the other thing here is that this is compatible channels four. So you can run four of these uh, off of one, I think. So you can plug your transmitter in four of them. We'll pick it up. Um, and so that gives you some flexibility for, uh, for production. So it's only, um, it's only 0.09 pounds, right? So it's really light, very light. So it looks good. They're not metal, they're plastic. So there you go. The spark link by Positive Grid. So just notice something that in the quarter inch jack, the gold one here is the receiver that you plug into your amplifier. The black one is the transmitter that you plug it into your guitar. So you can tell the difference between the two um, visually without actually having to turn them around and look at the, the words receiver and transmitter that are on the back. See, RX is the receiver. So, so that's a good thing. Um, that's an excellent thing. I just have to remember gold goes into the amp. Gold for amp.